Hello, Gemini. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for coming to your reading. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. And it's going to cover the period of um, March uh, to April 2022. I hope you guys find this reading helpful. Um, and I love you guys. Gemini is one of my favorite signs. I am an Aquarius. Hence, my love for you guys. Another fellow air sign. Many friends of mine are Geminis and also in relationships. I've also been with Geminis a lot. <laughs> you guys are so much fun. And um, I enjoy being with Geminis in any kind of um, uh, circumstance whatsoever. <laughs> I love how you guys communicate and how open and generous you are and kind you are. Um, I'm going to start this reading by doing a um, prayer for you guys whilst I shuffle the cards. So please pray with me. Dear God, please come into the life of the sign of Gemini. Give them health, wealth, love and protection. Make all of their dreams come true. May they find the love that they want. May they find the financial success that they want. May they find the perfection of health that they want. Or may they find the joy and happiness that they want. As much as they give people happiness and joy with their generosity, with them looking after everyone and taking care of people, may they get in multiples back in positive energy. Please shine a light for us on the future, God, and show us what they need to see in this reading. Please give them harmony, balance and success. And may they get everything that they want and desire in your most high name. Amen. Dear God, please come through for them and give them power. Amen. Thank you guys for coming. So, I am going to be... Right, let's see what the first card is. Oh, the High Priestess. Okay, that's very fitting, Gemini. You guys are very intuitive and you can be extremely powerful when you're psychic or when you do any kind of spiritual work or manifestation. The duality of your sign is incredible and it's, and it's a powerful thing and you should know. Anything you touch will yield a good result in spiritual work, especially if it's positive energy and for your benefit or the benefit of anybody else. Make sure your prayers are directed towards good things and you will get multiples back. Gemini is also a very loving sign, so please project your sign on the world. We do need it now. We need harmony. We need balance. Please, God, come through for us all. Now, the High Priestess is a card of spiritual prowess. It's a divine feminine. Whether you're a man or a woman, you do have this strong energy of um, be being good at magic or being good at manifesting. Your prayers get answered quickly, so do it. Because I think that there is something here that wants to happen that is very good for you, Gemini. Now, it's also, the High Priestess is about study. Uh, it's about wisdom and intuition as well. Um, it's also about the mysteries of women and femininity um, that many people might not understand. Um, it's like you come in, into your power, Gemini. I do feel here that some of you are very powerful who come to these readings and watch them, even if you don't know. So please pray for you, you yourself first and then for the world and for us and for me too. Please don't forget me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they are answered, okay? And if you have been studying for an exam or something like that, you're definitely getting a pass. I'm going to be sharing a herb with you guys at the end of the video that will help your sign and help you achieve whatever comes up in the reading and, you know, go through it smoothly. Because I'm a perfumer as well. Um, and I know a lot about these things. <laughs> Been doing it for a very long time. So I'm going to give you guys a herb. Now, the next card that you get here is a card of temperance, which is a card of balance, okay? And a card of like... Sometimes you can get into situations where emotions run high or you feel very emotional about something and you get you could get upset 
or get like, you know, really in, in knots about it. Temperance speaks about tempering the feelings and not worrying about anything. It is a symbol of angelic energy coming into your life, giving you that balance that you need to move forward. This angel of temperance comes in with a lot of um, love and, and a lot of calming energy and a lot of confidence as well. Okay, so when she shows up in readings, it's very powerful for that. Now, it is a card that calls um, for moderation and harmony and, and serenity. And it's like just about a very happy transformation that's going to happen to you, Gemini, or is happening at the moment. Most of the planet is going through an ascension process and there's many things that are not favorable that are happening, but they are part of the ascension of the planet so that they can reach a point of peace and satisfaction all over. Um, so... It's going to be fantastic. Now, it also talks about the fact that you need to rest and look after your health. Um, it's also uh, like about recovery. So if anyone has been feeling a bit under the weather or anything like that, you will be fantastic and 100% operational <laughs> today, hopefully, and then in the future. Um, but it really is a card of encouragement and power to you, Gemini. So whatever you're thinking of doing, go for it because you will get success. Especially if it's a love endeavor or something, that matter of the heart that you are thinking of. The next card that you have is Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles is of a card of victory and public renown and, and entertainers and celebrities. It's a card of joy and happiness and like celebrations. Okay, so whatever you are working on, you're using your intuition, you're using your, your, um, your, your power, you're using your energy, and it's going to yield an amazing outcome. And that is the, the pre Three of Pentacles. It could be as well that you're interested in someone who's in the public eye, or you are in the public eye yourself. Uh, and the card foretells success for you within that uh, situation as well. I do feel the energy of a love relationship here and maybe there's, could be something that hasn't started or something that's restarting, see how it resonates with you, but it, I'm, I'm feeling it as a new energy, which could be new love as well, really. Um, and I think, you know, whatever you want to do, go for it because your next card is the, the four of wands, wow. Four of Wands, and you've got the lovers to clarify the Four of Wands. So, you're definitely up to something, Gemini, or someone is up to something with you. <laughs> and it has to do with romance, and this is a very successful and beautiful relationship. Whether you're in the public now, or now I now or not, it's regardless of what happens, it's something to be celebrated and that some people will know about. When that happens, it is a divinely guided union. It's it's there's just so much beauty in the four of wands and the lovers together and the three of pentacles with temperance and the high priestess. Wow. I'm blown away by this reading. It's really powerful. You are getting the blessings of the angels, the blessings of nature, the blessings of the higher energies with regards to this. So proceed. It's going to be amazing. Okay, it's going to be amazing whether you are worried by a relationship that you have already or you want to start a new, new one, move forward. The energies are 100% favorable for that, as you can see from the spread. Now, this can also speak about career and abundance and so on. Maybe you've been thinking about some kind of project that you want to do. This is also a sign that you should go for it because it's going to bring in a lot of stability and harmony and love for you. It could actually lead you to your love interest. Or you could meet the love interest in, uh, through work or their job or your job and so on. This is a beautiful reading, guys. I want you to take advantage of the energy and be open to all of the energies of love. You are getting communication or giving communication to someone and the outcome is going to be incredible. Okay, it's going to be beautiful. You're finally going to feel like the sun's come out on your love life especially. Okay. And um, I just, you know, I can't really fault this energy. 
And this is what you deserve. You've got the justice card at the bottom of the deck, which is like, this is what's supposed to happen for the situation to be fair, okay? And for you to get what you are due in terms of this love especially, okay? A lot of things have taken time for you or part of the collective, but now is the time for them to come together, okay? And therefore, I congratulate you. <laughs> Gemini, you, you guys are amazing. There's no question about it, okay? Now, the herb that the spirits are giving me for you is Jasmine. It is a herb that is connected to Gemini. Jasmine attracts love, harmony, balance. It's very good for psychics and seers because we use it a lot because we can dream with it, we can see visions with it and so on with it, just the scent. It stimulates that part of the brain. Jasmine is very good to attract what you want to you. It's like a magnet. So if you use the incense, it's very alluring as well and it adds beauty to you, or Gemini. So you guys are very attractive and beautiful and this Jasmine will add more to you. Use it like that, use it as a scent. Add it to your sense. If you have a perfume with jasmine in it, or can, you can use the herb even to put it in your, just in your, carry it in your pocket, a few jasmine flowers, put them around your home, um, put a few drops on your pillow at night if you want to get dreams. It's also a very protective scent. It's one of the scents that we use for protection from, from negativity, from all kinds of harm. It is also a scent that attracts angelic energies. I can't talk enough about jasmine. It's actually one of my favorite ones. A lot of the scents that are connected with the Gemini, I love, okay? Which are like Jasmine, your Bayberry, um, Balm of Gali, Lavender, Marjoram, but this time they're focusing on the Jasmine, okay, for you. This will help you achieve this situation. It will go smoothly, it will be fine. Whether, like I said, whether it's love, I do get a strong feeling that it's love, but there's also a strong energy of abundance. This union could lead to abundance to, uh, you know, both of you. Your energy is going to be very good with, the, with whoever person you are with or will be with, okay? And if it's work as well, this is successful. Jasmine is also a money magnet. So if you put it on your, on your coins, on your uh, cash, on your card and... I usually pray with it and I use the Psalms. <clears throat> so you can use Psalm 23 with it if you want to attract money. Psalm 35 for protection. Um, 51 for divine mercy and, and favor. Um, and so on. 118 for, um, I believe it's verse 17, for um, protection and reversing bad energies to the people who have sent them to you. Um, and you can use the Song of Solomon with it from the Bible. But if you are from any religion, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you pray with it and meditate in it, with it, it will work on you and with you and will give you the result that you want. I also have a, a money oil on this um, channel that I published recently. It's very good. I don't publish anything just like that. I have to know that it works so that I don't get told that my stuff is rubbish. <laughs> but it does really work. It's very powerful. So check out that recipe as well i hope it benefits you and brings you a lot of abundance i've really gone all the way with that oil the money oil to give you guys the best result so i i will keep you in my prayers guys thank you so much for coming i will love you and leave you but please remember to subscribe share comment and you know um and like the video because it really helps my channel grow and motivates me and sometimes I feel demotivated. I need more motivation. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it will spread the love and it will really, you know, I hope that anything you do comes back into you in multiples and um, whatever you do. And I know you guys are amazing, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely going to be communication. So it's just my throat. Just suddenly I, I don't itch it. <laughs> So there's going to be someone talking to someone, but it's a beautiful conversation. Wow, it's so gorgeous. So you guys, it's going to be amazing. Don't worry, everything's going to be cool and you're going to be successful with all your endeavors. I will love you and leave you guys and I will see you guys in your next reading. Be blessed always, Gemini.